So you bought a Canon R5 and you're like, this camera is amazing, but the file sizes are humongous. Now let's say you were me and you were a newbie and you hadn't bought any of the CF Express cards because your camera hadn't used them or your old camera hadn't. So you're just hoping that you can just use your SD cards that you had before because you've built up a lot of storage. And then when you get your R5, all of a sudden you realize that you can't actually shoot a bunch of the features. You can't shoot in 8K, you can't shoot 4K 120, you can't shoot 4K all I in any of the frame rates because it's just too much information that the SD cards can't handle. So then you're wondering to yourself, I need a CF Express card. And you start looking at them online and you realize they are super expensive. You weren't ready to shell out the price of another lens on just an SD card. You thought it was going to be like $100 or something. The question you might be having is about the 120 FPS. How much data does it take up? So I bought this and it arrived today. CF Express card. This is the Sony Tough One, 128 gigabytes. So question you have is, how much data does it write? Now on the internet, you can get lots of different quotes, which I'll show you now, um, about the different write speeds and how much data it's actually gonna take up. But as you know, nothing that is stated is always true. The only problem with filming with such a high frame rate is the amount of data that it takes up. So you might be asking, how much footage can I actually get out of 128 gigabytes? If you go on Amazon, these are about $200 per card, so not cheap at all. Um, with SD cards, you're almost getting around two gigabytes per dollar. Um, and so it's been getting cheaper and cheaper, but these are very expensive. So what you're wondering then is how much storage do I need? Well, the question is then how much of a story can you tell with that? So I went in my backyard and just started filming different things, my dogs, the chickens in the backyard, the flowers. I was sneezing all the time because there's pollen and my allergies are terrible. But the main thing is I just filled up the card as fast as I could. It took me about 15, 20-ish minutes to fill up all of it. Um, and then on the computer, I'll show you exactly how much footage I got out of it. If you slowed it down to 29 frames per second, exactly how much time you could get out of that if you use it perfectly and then also how much data it's actually taking up because this is a 128 gigabyte card but I'm expecting for it to not fill up the entire card because nothing is perfect though that would be nice so hopefully at the end of this you can decide for yourself what size of storage you need and what fits your budget for what you're trying to produce if you're doing this commercially or if you're just doing this as a hobby 64 128 um, 500 or even one terabyte because um, those prices go up significantly. I will say that this performed pretty well, um, so I would recommend the 128, uh, but it did fill up. So with that, let's see exactly how fast I filled this up. So as you can see here, all of the files have downloaded. This is just the thumbnails, and you can see the parts that I'm going to be using for the video later. If we just go through and highlight each one of these clips, go to properties. Here you will see is 116 gigabytes. So out of the card, again, um, it's not 116, it's 128 gigabytes. It filled 116 before it gave me the message that the card was full. So it's something to remember. Now, so filming in this, now I know that it's going to use 116 gigabytes worth of data before it fills up. And then if you go in, it also says that I filled up 35 minutes worth, but this is at a playback rate of 29.97 frames per second. So then what that means, um, obviously, then is that if it was as slow motion as slow as it could be, uh, while still looking normal, 
that's how long it would last. So if every single second that I filmed was usable, I could create a 35 minute film out of that. But of course, that's not the case. So now, um, if you took the 35 minutes and then divided it by four, it would be about 8.75, so eight minutes and 45 seconds worth of footage that would be in normal speed, normal playback. And that's at 120 frames per second. So yeah, so now you know that it's gonna fill up so about eight and, eight and three quarters minutes. It'll fill up all 116 usable gigabytes of the card, now 128. And yeah, just wanted to kind of let you know that for the future so you can figure out what you're gonna buy depending on what your needs are. And now I'm just gonna throw some of these clips together so you can see what the footage looks like itself and I'll timestamp that down in the comments so you can figure out if you just wanna skip ahead and see what this looks like. All right, thanks.